purpose of this tutorial is to explain how to use named connections. So first of all, a named connection is kind of like a label. Uh, they refer to it in ExtendSim as a named connection. There is a difference between that and what they call a label. So if we look at what's called a label in ExtendSim, that would be the actual moniker associated with the blocks that you get by double clicking on the block and typing it in. What we mean by a name connection is what you would consider to be a freestanding quote unquote label. Again, they use the term named connection to distinguish it from other labels that are associated with the blocks. So this is a freestanding piece of text. Now you can certainly just have a freestanding piece of text for the purposes of making your model more clear. However, you can also use the name connections to help clean up your models. So the purpose of a name connection is to connect between points in your model that are geographically separated. Like in this example, total time transit two is being sent to this plotting block, but it actually comes from somewhere else. So rather than creating a spidery line that went directly from the output over here, which we could certainly do, but you can see where this would turn into a real mess, especially if you have a big model. So instead of that, we're going to use name connections. So let's go ahead and set up a name connection as an example here. So suppose we wanted to put in the amount uh, or whether the queue was full. We're going to double click. Again, I double clicked to establish this name connection and then started typing. Now I'm gonna hook up one end of the name connection. Notice that there's a little bit of a sweet spot, but it's actually easier if you start at the connection end that goes to a block. Continue to pull over until you see it turn blue and then let go. Now you'll notice that you have a red line here that tells you that it's, it's an orphan connection. So there's no corresponding place where this connection would go. In a finished model, you don't wanna see any of these red lines. That's an indication that you have a problem because essentially you have dead data. So in order to hook up the other end, the most foolproof way to do this is right click that is going to bring up a menu and allow you to duplicate. So once you've duplicated that name connection, you can drag it over to wherever you want to use the other end of it. Now what we're going to do is hook up the other end. And now we'll notice that it, the red disappears, letting, it, letting you know it's hooked up. Now the named connections can be, um, hard to figure out where they're going, especially if you have a very large model. So there's a couple of ways to figure out where the other pair of the named connection is. The first way to do this is to go to the menu, model menu, and where it shows, says show or hide connection, connectors. You can show or hide all the connectors. I don't recommend hiding the connectors. It's very difficult to find out what's going on in the model. But we want to, in particular, show named connections. So now you notice we see a bunch of other lines. And if we see a named connection and we want to know where does that go, I can simply click on that. And now that highlights the line and I can follow it over to the other point. Now you can see why you wouldn't want this to be on all the time and why this feature is off by default. So we're going to hide the name connections again. So the second way that we can look for a name connection is using extend sim find. So we go to the edit menu, click find, and that's going to pop up a dialog box. So inside this dialog box, which is going to at first be empty. So in this example, we've actually found something previously. So we wanna clear out this dialog box. 
this is going to find all the labels here. We don't want to necessarily do that. Um, we want to actually look at the things that we can find. So we can find actual object IDs. You might think the names would be named connections, but it isn't. Names are actually the names of the different kinds of blocks. So we want the choice to be label, and then we're going to type in the label that we want to look for. And then of course we can uh, open the dialogue automatically if we wanted to, which doesn't really apply to the name connections. Now that we do a find, we can see both ends of the name connection are here. So we have two hits on this. If I double click, the graph jumps a little bit so that we can actually see where the name connection is. And then that highlights it for me. Now, if I wanna see the other end, it jumps again. Notice that the previous one stayed highlighted and I can see both of these name connections here. So that's how we look for the name connections. Notice that the object type here is called draw text. And that brings this tutorial to a close.